Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We have two special guests today. We have Brady Riggs. He is a top 100 instructor on Golf Magazine for the past 14 years. He's also, also the director of instruction at Hawaii Four Seasons Resort. And we have his daughter, Maddie Riggs. She's a new professional golfer. She's an academic All-American from UCI. And also she's the lowest scoring average on the team her senior year. I'm gonna let Brady talk now because I did enough talking. <laughs> so, Sammy asked me to do a couple tips here on yes. helping mid and high handicap players yes. just with basic things that they struggle with, right? So, you know, everybody that plays at some point has either been a slicer or knows somebody who's chronically slicing. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> we're going to talk about that. So one of the things that happens is people don't understand why a ball slices, right. you know, and their instincts betray them. And then golf professional teachers make a lot of money because of that. So here's what happens. The ball curves to the right mm -hmm. and it curves to the right because the club is traveling to the left of where the face is pointing. That's basically what makes that ball curve that way. Well, your instinct says, I'm going right, I'm hitting a house or hitting the lake, whatever it is, I'm gonna swing left because that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But as you swing left, you're just making the path more left of that mm -hmm. face, which makes it curve more to the right. And thus the golf teacher gets paid because you keep coming back for lessons. So <laughs> what we wanna do is Make sure the teachers are getting people better quickly so we can move on to something more fun like right. scoring, right? So today, Maddie's gonna demonstrate a very simple thing for people to do to help that slice. We're gonna do a little grip, right? So show basically a stronger grip, just making sure that the left hand is feeling a little more on top and the right hand's feeling a little bit more under. Here's a, an easy way to think of this. If you put your palms together and just stood there like that, that's not it. We don't want to hold the club with our hands yeah. coming in together. We want to make sure the left hand's a little over and the right hand's a little under. Okay. How you connect your hands, whether interlock, overlap, 10 finger, I could care less. We just want to make the grip a little bit stronger. And then we got to swing to the right. And here's the easiest way to do this. So I've got a club down, a uh, stick down on the ground and that stick sort of is going to signify a straight line, right? So we use a T in the beginning to help people. And then there's this incredibly high tech device that you use called a foot. So you use your foot and you just drag a line like that that's on an angle to the straight line we have on the ground. It's that easy. I love that. Stronger grip. And now all she's going to do is come into the ball a little bit on that line. So Maddie, show them a weak yeah, grip? We can show a weak grip. So here's a weaker <laughs> grip. She's correcting me now as I'm getting older. So the left hand is turned or rotated too far under the club. The right hand can even come over too far. That's a pretty normal look that we see a lot from people. So the adjustment, left hand over, right hand under. And now we're just trying to swing down that line and that's gonna get the path to the right of the face and we should see a ball that wants to curve from the right to left. There it is, a little bit of a draw. She got a good move on it, right? Oh my goodness, you see that? So That's just a half swing. <laughs> I want to say one thing. So on my YouTube channel, I had a, a lesson put on there with me and Butch. Brady is another coach that I only trust. I don't trust many coaches with my game or, you know, mental things or physical, all those things. Brady's one of the other coaches that I only trust. So, I mean, Brady is top notch coach and I'm sure Maddie's going to be a top notch coach too. She has a good mentor right here. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Thank you, Sammy, Aww. so yeah. much. Is Another misconception people have, they think if their body spins really fast on the downswing, the club head will go fast. Okay. And it's actually quite the contrary. The faster your body's spinning, sometimes the slower the club head is moving. So instead of trying to turn your body quickly through the ball to create some speed, we actually want you to use your hands and arms. Right. So if you think of it, let's say we're gonna throw a ball, right? And I had my arm here, I was ready to throw it. All I'm gonna do is just turn my body. I mean, that's not really what a throw looks yeah. like, right? Yeah. So I, ha I have to use my arm and my hand a little bit to create some speed. In fact, if you were gonna measure somebody throwing a ball, doing it this way, right. or sitting in a chair and just using their hand and arm, clearly that would go further, right? So we wanna kind of incorporate that into people hitting the ball a little bit further, just making better contact because they struggle so much with that. So instead of seeing this swing, right, where the person's just moving their body quick, or turning their hips really fast, which right. I see is a big thing right now. I want Maddie just hit a couple shots here and we're gonna get a little bit bigger with each one. Okay. Not gonna be using her legs or her body too much. And just kind of go back and forth, a little half back, half through, just feeling the club swing by. Cool. 
and do one more just like that. And what you'll see here, she's not trying to spin her body too much. She's just using her hands and arms to create the speed instead of trying to get it through the body turn. Force it, we're just trying to relax and let the club go. Nice. Cool. So instead of turning the whole torso on the downswing to create speed, keep your body kind of facing the ball. Right. When you do that, the club head will fly by you right. instead of you dragging the club through. Right. You're going to hit it further, you'll hit it more solid. And the other thing you're going to do is you're going to square the face up a lot easier that way. When you're dragging the whole shaft through the impact area, you're going to leave the face open and the ball is going to go to the right and you're going to get frustrated. I so. do that a lot. You do not I do, do that, that, I do that a lot. Sammy's I'm line is really, really good. He does not have that problem. <laughs> this is not an issue for him. That's going to help with more power, more consistent power. Yeah, just right? easy kind of power, but also better contact. You mm. know, people struggle so much to hit the ball solid because they're spinning around so much. If you just sat in one place, right? I don't want to hit anything too significant. But if I just kind of stood here and I just kind of went back and through and just, oh, I got the container. If you do that, <laughs> then you're going to make some decent contact, right. right? I'm not doing anything with my body. My right. body's sort of facing the ball and I'm just swinging the club back and through and use your hands and arms, people. It's an okay thing to do. Right. Just think of any other sport you'd play. Right. You would use this to throw. Right. We wouldn't do it like that. And it's the that's same a, thing in golf. That's a great visual because if you think about like throwing the ball, I don't know how to throw the ball, but when you throw it <laughs> and you were, if you were to just drag your arm, that, that's terrible. Right. There has to be some kind of whip. Yeah, we want a snap or a whip in there. All right, so Sammy, what do you see? You play with a lot of amateurs, yeah. right? How are they around the greens hitting basic pitch shots? You know what? For me, I think when I see a lot of short game troubles, it starts with the setup. Mm. A lot of the setup is very wonky. Like I will see a lot of like wide stance, right. balls like, you know, either way forward, way back. There's just, it's just not solid to me. Because I watch all of your stuff online and you do a lot of short game stuff. We do spinners and all kinds of stuff. Yes. And I think the tech, the stuff you're giving is awesome. Thank you. I mean, I really, really think people are gonna help themselves. Yes. That was, that was an unpaid, unpaid advertising. <laughs> but I think, you know, technique matters, you know, it really does. And having a good idea what you're trying to do is, is gonna give you success. We think people struggle so much around here because they don't know what they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't really know how the club works. They don't understand how to get the club through the ground and it creates tension and anxiety and then we see really bad swings right, right? so if you're if you're a kind of person who's like well i've got to accelerate right i've heard i can't decelerate so we see these little short back swings and then all this effort that never works you know you'd see a tour player if anything right they'd be bigger back and shorter through right. rather than the other way around so people get scared and they get shorter we're trying to let the club swing a little bit because it's much easier if it does some of the work for you. But we really need the club to go over that grass correctly, right? I'm going to keep all of my weight mainly on my left leg. I don't want anything going backwards because I'm going to thin it or drop kick it. It just takes out all the contact. And then I'm also going to make sure that I'm not hinging my wrist too much. So I, I bring basically my arms and my shoulders all through with the shot. Okay. So you're using your, your big muscles on, right. on this one. My and huge muscles, you know, it's, it's <laughs> what I'm known for. She is known for her huge muscles. But I think what's really interesting that she said, and I think we you know this because you Sammy's played on, on the highest of levels, if you're trying to take speed off of a wedge, right, you're not going to hinge as much, you're not going to release as hard because it slows down the club head, it takes spin off, it flies lower. But on the last tip, we were just talking about how people try to do that on their full swing to create speed, right? right? So we want hands and arms a lot when we want speed. But when we don't need speed, we don't want them because it makes it a little bit more difficult to be consistent on such a short shot. So what Maddie's talking about is just taking the wrists away, swinging your arms back, your body kind of goes with your arms and the club can skip off the grass much easier that way. Oh, can, solid. You can see there's no, there's no divot down here. There's no big trench that she's taking. Let's do another one, Maddie. And that really helps that club get through the grass. And the good thing about this is your bad shots are good. So the 50 degree is plenty of loft for people, especially if you open a little bit, right. right? So open the 50 a little bit, use your arms, don't use your wrist too much. That ball will get up in the air. It's gonna stop quick enough. Right. You know, you don't have to throw the thing straight up to have success. Right. And it's much easier than using your 60 or your 54 right. because it's more forgiving, you know? So we like that club. Right. People don't use their sand wedge enough, their pitching wedge enough, their nine iron, their eight iron. It's always the lob wedge. Right. And it just makes golf hard. We're trying to make things you know, a lot easier here. Because remember a tour player, 
gets up and down on half the greens they miss, right? It's tough when yeah. you're missing greens, you're getting up and down half the time and that's for the best players on earth. Right. So you shouldn't have an expectation that you're gonna get up and down every time, but we don't wanna make doubles right. as we're starting out. Get it on the green, give yourself a chance at it, and using that 50 with good technique, that's the way to go, for sure. That's some good stuff right there. I don't know if you guys <laughs> were listening, but that was some good stuff. Brady, Maddie, I really appreciate you guys' time today. Anytime, our, our pleasure, for sure. I feel like I just improved two strokes just listening, <laughs> so I'm gonna start shooting in the 80s now. I'm just kidding, but um, thank you guys for your time. The links are gonna be down below. We're gonna have Maddie's Instagram, Brady's Instagram. And also, we're gonna have online uh, platform uh, teaching for Maddie and Brady soon. So make sure to look out for that. Thank you.